Welcome to Mobile Testing Summit. So my name is Sagar Mahindakar and uh, I am from India. I hold a bachelor degree and uh, currently working with Red Hat. Red Hat. I have almost uh, five years of experience in a quality engineer role. Mostly I am responsible for a BO task of a project uh, involvement in sprint planning and releases. Also, uh, I automate uh, test cases, integrate it with a CI CD pipeline and uh, to make sure that our product is bug free. Uh, so today I will uh, share, uh, I would like to share one of my experience. Like uh, when I was uh, working with a previous organization, uh, we used to follow waterfall methodology. And uh, because of this, our uh, development uh, cycle was too long. And uh, we used to face uh, some challenges like uh, difficulties in uh, accommodating change request because uh, customer requirement requirements keep on changing with time. And uh, it was uh, difficult to accommodate uh, any change request after uh, after the requirement specification phase was complete. Also, in the uh, in a waterfall model, testing is typically done at the end of the cycle, uh, end of the development cycle. This means that a defect may not be discovered until late in the development process, which uh, which can be expensive and uh, time consuming uh, to fix. But uh, when I uh, when I joined Red Hat, uh, where Agile methodology was uh, used, I got to know why Agile is important and uh, uh, why Agile is important for development and uh, testing purposes, and uh, what makes it successful is DevOps. So let's start with the today's topic, ensuring quality in a DevOps culture. Uh, so moving to agenda for the today's call. Yeah. So let's walk through from the agenda for the today's session. So we will uh, start with the introduction for uh, DevOps and uh, their importance. Then uh, we will learn the relationship between QV and uh, DevOps. Moving further, uh, moving further, we will discuss the role of uh, QV in uh, DevOps and there is uh, responsibilities in brief. Then uh, we can discuss more about uh, challenges that uh, QV face while uh, working with uh, DevOps. And uh, we will have some uh, deep knowledge about uh, tool chain integration and uh, their importance. At last, we will discuss more about uh, skills required for uh, QV to work with uh, DevOps. And uh, and then uh, we can have a conclusion and a QA session. Yep. Uh, so moving to the first slide of the presentation. Yep, here it is. So what is DevOps? DevOps combines uh, development and operations to increase the efficiency at speed and the security of uh, software development and uh, delivery compared to traditional processes. It allows organization uh, to serve uh, better, uh, to serve customer better and uh, compete more strongly in the market. In uh, simple words, uh, we can say DevOps can be defined as alignment or development and IT operation with better communication and collaboration. There are a few reasons that uh, why DevOps is uh, necessary for uh, modern businesses. So I have listed a few of them here, like a uh, short development cycles, early error detection, reduces operational cost, improves customer satisfaction. So we will start with the first one, short development cycles. So in DevOps, uh, DevOps allows a developer to release their product much quicker because uh, they, know, uh, they no longer have to wait for approval from other teams. Instead, uh, they can release new version as soon as they are ready for testing, in which uh, it, which means that uh, bugs can be found, bugs can be caught much earlier in the process and uh, fixed before significant issue. Second is uh, early error detection. When teams work together on a project, when, when uh, teams work uh, together on projects, uh, there is more opportunity for errors than uh, a team working on the same project, but separately. So in DevOps, in DevOps environment, when one team makes an error in coding or testing, another team can detect it immediately and uh, fix it uh, before it causes any damage in introduction. It leads to higher quality of product and uh, fewer problems uh, down the road. Third one is uh, reduces operational cost. So 
it's hard for businesses to keep up uh, with the pace of technology today if uh, you are not keeping up you might as well close up shop because uh, your competitors will leave you in the dust one of the biggest reason uh, why devops is important it's because it helps companies lower operational cost by increasing efficiency uh, which means uh, they can uh, spend less on servers support staff and uh, other resources while ma uh, maintaining their competitive edge so last one here it, it is uh, improves customer satisfaction one of the important aspect of any business is keeping your customers happy there is no better uh, way to do this than by providing excellent uh, customer service which can be uh, difficult for some companies devops can help make this e easier for you and uh, your team uh, by integrating uh, by integrating it uh, by integrating your development team with your operation uh, teams can create a seamless experience for both customers and uh, external employees it will increase uh, customer satisfaction because they don't have to wait long for their request to be answered it will also keep things running smooth within uh, your organization because everyone knows what they need to do next and uh, hope uh, we got the basic and the importance of uh, devops here now we can move to the next slide of our presentation yeah here it is so here we will uh, discuss a relationship between qa qe and devops and uh, where exactly uh, qa fits into the world of uh, continuous in integration dominated by devops well pretty much in uh, every release a quality uh, analyst uh, is required to assure the robustness of the product especially in the world of uh, devops where uh, the updates take place in the application almost on weekly basis with so many frequent changes taking place outages uh, look to be very common but outages are supposed to break the life of the developers and the managers everyone needs to uh, needs a quick hot fix when the service of the product goes south affecting more than the single customer but an uh, immediate uh, fix needs to be thoroughly tested before it get migrated into the production developers and product manager would want the job to be done in a van this is very uh, this is where qa needs to set up and uh, takes the re responsibility of evaluating whether that immediate fix for an for one outage does not end up affecting uh, affecting the any other functionality of the application so just as much as developer is needed to get the rid of the outage by a quick fix a quality analyst is needed to prevent future outages to as many extent as possible uh, moving forward yeah so moving to next slide challenges are uh, faced by qv teams in our uh, devops so several challenges may arise due to fundamental changes in our workflow collaboration and technology use that uh, such as inter integration quality engineering in and devops environment is not just about ensuring the quality of the software but also about enhancing the processes that uh, lead to the development of a uh, high quality software product continuously here i will uh, discuss some of the main challenges as main challenges a qv might face while working with uh, devops so i have listed a few of them uh, such as uh, shift lift sh speed versus quality trade off automated testing expertise keeping up the changes so we will uh, walk through with the first one shift lift and uh, continuous testing devops emphasizes shifting lift a lift which means testing early and often in the development cycle this requires the qv team to integrate testing seamlessly into the daily workflow of development which can be significant change from a uh, traditional models where uh, testing was a distinct phase qv teams uh, must adapt by developing automated tests that can run effectively in every stage of the ci cd pipeline second one uh, speed versus uh, quality trade off 
devops prioritize speed and efficiency in delivering updates and uh, new features qb teams are challenged to to maintain high standard of quality without slowing down the development and deployment process this can uh, sometimes create tension as a drive or uh, this can uh, create a uh, tension as the drive for rapid releases may compromise the thoroughness of uh, testing automate uh, testing expertise with the emphasis on automation in devops qb team must possess strong skills in automate testing this includes the ability to write maintain and understand automate testing script and frameworks developing the expertise require time and tra training which can be a challenging especially in the fast paced environment keeping up uh, with changes in a dev culture changes occur rapidly and frequently qb team must keep up with these changes in both the software been developed and the technologies used to develop and test it this continuous learning and adoption can be demanding uh, moving to next slide yeah uh, challenges for qb in a uh, mobile devops so several challenges qb face in a uh, mobile devops so i have listed few of them uh, diverse device landscape platform fragmentation specialized testing approach and approach uh, variability in uh, network condition app store compliance so mobile devices are used in environment with a uh, varying network condition testing how an application performs across different networks like a uh, 3g 5g 4g and wi-fi and how it handles network transaction like a uh, switching from lte to wi-fi uh, or experiencing a dropped connection is critical for qa but hard to simulate accurately performance benchmarking uh, ensuring the app application performs well under various condition like uh, in the background during high cpu usage or when the battery is low performance benchmarking in a real world scenario is a significant qa challenge moving to next land and uh yeah roles and responsibilities in a qa or qa in a devops the quality engineering role is more demanding than qa boss as it is more fundamentally focused on quality the qa role demands that uh, you have expertise in all aspect of the De uh, devops which can directly or indirectly related to product quality including software testing automation testing agile processes ci cd etc uh, tool chain integration so what is to uh, tool chain integration a tool chain uh, uh, is a collection of uh, tools and technologies that uh, enables development and operations teams to collaborate uh, th throughout the entire development uh, process uh addressing key uh devops fundamental such as continuous uh, continuous integration uh continuous delivery automation and collaboration tool chain integration in devops and quality engineering is crucial for achieving the seamless uh, automation and uh, collaboration required to support rapid rel uh, reliable software releases a well integrated uh, tool chain uh, allows for uh, continuous uh, deployment testing and uh, deployment uh, which are the corner stones of the uh, devops philosophy uh, here a detailed look at, at the importance of uh, tool chain and uh, we can uh, go in the brief of uh, tool chain integration i have listed a few of the characteristics of a uh, tool chain integration uh, like a uh, streamlined uh, workflow automation enhanced collaboration consistency and uh, standardization and a uh, real time feedback so here we go with the first one uh, streamline workflow automation integration of tools in the devops environment helps in uh, creating a seamless workflow for developers operations team and the quality engineer each stage of the uh, so, uh, software uh, deployment life cycle from uh, planning and uh, coding to testing deployments and monitoring can be automated this automation can uh, reduce the manual hands off between teams and uh, minimize errors and speed up the process pro process of the software delivery enhance uh, collaboration 
टूल चेन इंटीग्रेशन फैसिलेट बेटर कम्युनिकेशन एंड कोलैबोरेशन अमोंग क्रॉस फंक्शनल टीम्स टूल्स सच एज चैटबॉट इंटीग्रेटेड विथ इश्यू ट्रैकिंग सिस्टम कैन ऑटोमेट स्टैचू स्टेटस अपडेट एंड अलर्ट्स दिस कीप्स एवरीवन इन द लूप एंड मेक इट इजीयर फॉर टीम मेंबर्स टू टू क्विकली टू डेवलपमेंट और ऑपरेशनल इश्यूज and uh, to ensure the that everyone works from a unified uh, platform with the uh, access to real time data uh, here we go to, uh, with the third one consistency and uh, standardization uh, standardization integrate uh, integrated tools help standardizing process across the development testing and the de uh, deployment phases this standardization is crucial for uh, maintaining consistency uh, consistency in uh, how software is developed tested and uh, released which in turn uh, which in turn helps in managing complex system and uh, reducing unexpected behavior or risk uh, or discrepancy in a production environment uh, real time feedback uh, integrated tools uh, provide continuous uh, feedback and uh, detailed metrics about uh, every aspect of the software development life cycle for uh, instance uh, dashboard tools that in integrate with uh, ci servers uh, testing frameworks and uh, deployment uh, tools that integrate with ci servers uh, testing frameworks and the deployment this data is uh, vital for uh, making informed uh, decision about the product and process in, uh, improvement for quality engineer uh, engineering uh, integration of tools like a uh, source control build servers uh, deployment mechanism and uh, testing frameworks means they can ensure comprehensive quality check quality check this integrated uh, approach helps qe uh, team to implement advanced testing uh, strategies such as shift left uh, testing uh, performance testing and uh, security testing as a part of a deployment pipeline rather after, uh, rather than the after thoughts like a uh, difference between uh, web dev devops and the mobile devops so yeah so how it differs like uh, we have a uh, mobile application must be tested and optimized for the bo bro border range of de uh, device and uh, operating system uh, unlike a web application that uh, can be updated in uh, real time mobile application requires passing through app store review which inter, uh, introduce delay and uh, additional uh, planning for uh, rollouts mobile uh, de uh, deploy uh, mobile development often uh, requires uh, native tools and environment which can be complicate uh, the ci cd pipeline and uh, emulators and uh, simulators are used but uh, testing on uh, real de uh, devices is critical uh, for ensuring the real world usability which is less of a concern in a uh, web development so this was about the differences between the uh, web devops and the mobile devops so now moving to next slide and uh, time to get to know the skills required for uh, testers in devops yeah so some import important skills required like uh, understanding software testing will enable uh, you to spot and uh, resolve software program problems quickly knowledge of the devops to uh, technologies will enable you to organize and automate the software deployment and uh, testing processes uh, one should have a collaboration uh, abilities with uh, developers and other team members understanding how to automate testing and uh, deploy codes if it uh, deploy code updates regularly is important knowing how effectively ci cd pipeline works and uh, it bugs is better so this was the skill, uh, skills uh, required for qa uh, to work with the dev but uh, i know there are much skills uh, much skills uh, you might know but uh, here i have uh, pointed some of the skills and uh, it is a major skill yeah so moving to the conclusion of this uh, presentation and a uh, conclusion of the uh, and the evolution of the qa the impact of uh, devops on quality assurance testing strategies is transformative by embracing a culture of collaboration automation and continuous testing organization can achieve the delicate balance between speed and uh, quality in uh, software development qa teams uh, play a uh, vital role in the paradigm shift 
contributing uh, to the creation of a resilient, uh, reliable and high quality software in the dynamic DevOps environment. As organization uh, continues to evolve, the integration of, uh, uh, of DevOps principle into QA testing strategies will be fundamental to staying competitive in the ever-changing landscape of technology. So uh, what I think like QA should not uh, limit to only for manual testing or automation uh, testing, but uh, they can grow by collaborating with uh, different teams like a uh, uh, DevOps team, uh, developers team. They have to make uh, the communication strong and uh, they need to suggest the improvements in the processes. By this, the uh, there will be a no separate teams like a uh, development, uh, development team, a QA team and the DevOps team. But we have to work as a whole team and uh, although just we have to make sure our product is bug free and uh, by saying this thing uh, thing i would like to stop here and uh, i hope you like the presentation and uh, this will be a productive in your day-to-day -day life and uh, yep thank you okay great well, excellent presentation, Sigar. Um, we got a lot of questions and a lot of engagement from the audience, um, and I'm glad we have enough time to hopefully answer them. Um, so Thanks. let's start, yeah, let's start with Brittany. Um, she says, um, mobile apps face strict rules from app stores. So how do you adapt your mobile QA and DevOps process to meet those challenges? Yes, Kara. So basically, uh, app stores have different uh, guidelines based on the uh, operating system. General uh, process is uh, like a uh, dev uploads uh, application on a uh, store. Then uh, there is automated uh, scans to check uh, malware and the functionality issues. Then uh, there is a manual scan to check uh, usability issues. And uh, then developers get the st status like uh, app is accepted or re rejected and the feedback. To avoid these challenges in an uh, app store, we should follow app guidelines from the scratch of the product development. Regularly uh, test build uh, by, uh, we can integrate a uh, test built in CI CD pipelines to address any issues. Implement uh, beta testing to get feedback from the uh, from the group of the users and uh, ensure that your application, uh, application follows best practices for security including uh, data encryption, security uh, authentication mechanism and protection against common vul vulnerabilities such as uh, SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Wow, yeah. You know, in your answer, you mentioned a little bit about uh, beta testing, for example, as a, as a practice. I'd love to hear a little bit more about, um, you know, your experience there and um, maybe some learnings that you have at, from, from Red Hat. Yeah, Kara, so surely. So uh, while working with the previous organization, uh, organization we were uh, testing some uh, mobile application and we face uh, many challenges like uh, while testing a mobile application, we have to test it on a uh, different uh, platform uh, uh, with different networks. And uh, we, have to, we also face some challenges while uh, testing mobile uh, devices. Like uh, there, we have to test mobile uh, application when uh, there is a connection lost or a network switch from LTE to Wi-Fi. So we started utilizing uh, cross-platform uh, testing frameworks like uh, Appium and Espresso, which allows us to run our script uh, on multiple operating system. Uh, right. Also, we started conducting uh, manual testing on uh, real devices to test functionality and uh, usability testings. And uh, also, uh, uh, we use uh, some uh, simulators and emulators uh, to reproduce the functionality on other devices as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's really interesting, trying to tackle those challenges of like testing across diverse mobile platforms. I mean, you know, obviously real devices is, you know, we think at Kobaton, we think that's really a, an essential part of the process. So I'm glad to hear um, you know, that that's a practice that you guys are relying on as well. Um, yes, we have another you. question here. Um, Ashkansha, I'm sorry, I think I said your name wrong. Apologies. It says, how do you handle frequent updates during mobile testing? Yeah, so answering to that uh, question, like uh, after each update, uh, uh, we focus on regression things to check that uh, new code changes have not caused any harm to the existing functionality. 
uh, we track all the changes in logs and uh, communicate uh, closely with the development team to understand the implication of uh, each update is followed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, I see another one. Um, another one that's coming in. Uh, it says, uh, what new trends or technologies do you think will reshape uh, mobile QA practices in the near future? Yeah, Kair. so answering to that, uh, we, uh, we are hearing uh, many things from uh, related to AI and machine learning. AI and machine, uh, AI and machine learning technologies are increasingly uh, been integrated into testing tools like, and frameworks to automate a test case, to optimize the test coverage, and identify patterns in the test data for more efficient uh, defect uh, detection and resolution. Also, there is a one thing like a shift left testing, uh, which involves moving testing activities earlier into the development process, uh, with a focus of uh, with, with a focus on uh, with a focus on preventing defects uh, rather than just detecting them. Uh, them. Mm -hmm. This approach uh, emphasizes collaboration uh, between developers, testers, and uh, other uh, stakeholders to ensure quality is built into the product from the out, uh, outset. Also, there is one thing: uh, continuous testing and uh, continuous delivery. So continuous testing uh, extends the principle of continuous integration and uh, continuous uh, delivery to the testing process, enable, uh, enabling uh, automated uh, testing to be seamlessly integrated into the software development pipeline. This allow this will allow for uh, faster feedback loops, shorter uh, release cycle, and uh, improve uh, improved overall uh, quality. Yeah. One thing we talk about um, at Cobaton a lot is how to improve people's maturity in their processes, you know, around uh, a, a sort of achieving mobile, mobile excellence. If you were to give advice to somebody who's in a testing organization, mobile tester, um, maybe who has a little bit less mature processes, you know, than than what you're what you're practicing at at Red Hat. What advice would you give? Um, you know, just very generally speaking, for people to kind of up their their skills and improve their processes overall. Yeah. So, Kara, I would like to advise uh, before starting uh, testing, we should uh, understand the requirement clearly because yeah. uh, uh, because. Uh, this involves understanding the app, uh, application functionality. Then uh, we should uh, target the audience. Based on the target uh, audience, uh, we should select a range of devices and operating system. Then uh, a detailed test plan that uh, includes the scope, type of testing uh, to be performed, resources needed, timeline, and risk assessment should be created. Then we should uh, select a type of testing. There can be a functional usability, performance regression, security, many types of uh, testing required. Testing types uh, to be conducted are decided uh, decided based on the project requirement, and also uh, we should keep the detailed records of the test case results, bugs, and fixes for analysis and improvement, and uh, to identify any bugs, uh, fix issues that are uh, that are not covered in the test cases, uh, we should use uh, feedback, and we should uh, regularly ask for feedback from uh, with the help of uh, beta testing, or uh, we can uh, create any document from which we can get a uh, feedback from the real users or uh, in a team member from the team member. Wow, thank you. I think that that's like really, really valuable advice to to like kind of take it back to basics and start with understanding, you know, all those various requirements before you kind of dive in and just start, um, you know, on the testing. Um, so yeah. I would like to say we, we really only have about a minute left. I think we've answered um, the majority of the questions that came in through the Q and A. If there's anyone out there that wants to chat in one uh, real quick, we could probably take one. Um, but other than that, maybe um, if you have some closing or concluding thoughts. Yes, okay. Uh, that, uh, this was a good experience uh, to give a good talk in a mobile testing uh, experience uh, summit. I would like to participate uh, many years from here as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for your uh, coordination and uh, cooperation. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. I'm glad it was a great experience for you. Take care. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you.